Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first issue of Beer Money Reports in video form. This is technically the fourth issue of a twice-monthly Beer Money Reports that I put out on the 1st and 16th of each month, and in the video version, at least for the first three to four of these, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. So instead of talking about just updates, I think I want to go ahead and go over some assorted apps of the same ranking and the same tier and talk about them pretty quickly. For today, I'm going to go over the green tier rankings, so basically everything on top here. Um, yeah, and then any new apps that I have looked at as well, with one exception, because I'm going to do a review on it, and I will get to that exception in a little bit. And then I'll do the yellow ones next issue, and then I'll do the amber and red ones the following issue after that, especially as the number of these will start piling up. Now, this is going to be mostly audio. I'm going to do very little graphics editing in these segments, so this is going to be one of those videos you can kind of treat like a podcast. Just put it on the background while doing something else for a good 10-15 minutes. If you have told me that a lot of my videos are pretty good even without the visuals, but visual-wise, this is basically the only screen that you're going to see, and that's what a lot of the Beer Money Report segments will be like going forward, all right? So... Now that, that those things have been said, let's get started. So to get a green rating from me and with Beer Money Reports, you have to not only be legitimate but a preferred app to go to. I should be wanting to actively use and or recommend your product to the masses, and I should be making enough for it to feel like it's making some kind of difference on my budget or at least have the potential to. I have seven on this list so far. One is a new investigation that is prolific, so I'm going to talk about that in the new investigation section. So let's get started. So at the top is Bridge Money. I have sung its praises to the ends of the earth and back, and so have the rest of the uh, Beer Money Network Discord server. It is the number one app right now, and it's a little bit lower on the green tier, I guess, if you don't get Earn Plus, but like a Costco membership, you pay that little annual fee of $52 a year or $2 a week, and yeah, everything changes. Earnings double, video earnings quadruple. I will have more on that in the Earn Plus video coming out very soon. And someone in the comments section, remind me to add it as a card when that time comes, please. I tend to be quite forgetful on these things. So coming in at number two is Atlas Earth. And... I know there's about half of my videos are about this on this channel, but the reason for that is because there's so much going on and there's quite a lot to talk about. I mean, it is a game. Unlike the other, uh, most of the other ones here, it is a straight up play to earn game and, and quite unique for its kind, honestly. I have barely even begun to touch the surface of what's been going on in this app. And I still got to go back and revise the optimal strategy video every six to 12 months. And yeah, by the way, that fourth edition will come out in late spring to early summer 2024. And as promised, when I put down the community post, it will include updates to the minigame strategy that many of you have asked for, even if it's not for everyone. So you're probably wondering why it's number two and not number one. And the main reason for that is because it just makes less money per month. With Bridge Money, you can make like anywhere between $60 to $80 a month with Bridge Earn Plus. And with Atlas Earth, you're looking at about $20 to $30 a month for roughly the same kind of commitment. Now, granted, bridge money is $52 a year, but you tell me that you can make any more on $52 a year with Atlas Earth. You know, that's not that many parcels. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Atlas Earth. Now, in third place is Amazon MTurk. Now, when I first got MTurk, they didn't have any restrictions, but uh, I remember some people were saying that they couldn't get into MTurk, like they weren't qualified to do certain things. I should go back and reinvestigate just to make sure that that's what's going on here. Uh, I would actually put it above Atlas Earth if there wasn't any restriction limits. And again, it's just because, same reason as Bridge, it makes more money. Bridge, $60 to $80 a month. MTurk, I can earn around $40 to $50 a month with very little effort. And if I really wanted to put a little bit of effort in an hour a day, I can make as much as $150 a month if I really wanted to go at it during peak months. Some have even made part-time jobs out of it with a master's label. As for Atlas Earth, 99.9% .9 of players, again, making $20, $25, maybe $30 a month. And only the whales are making anything more than that. So that's the only reason that uh, I would put MTurk above this if I find out when I do my reinvestigation on this that there is no restriction problems on it. 
So we're going to skip, again, skip prolific. Next one up, Microsoft Rewards. Now this is coming out Saturday. It is, uh, I have a review for it on Saturday, I mean. It is sort of a tier below the big four up here, but much of that is because of how little you make on it. Now they're a very solid app, but you can make something like 10 to $15 in gift cards a month. Unless you spend money in their Microsoft Store or you use receipts on their Microsoft Deals app. That's on Microsoft Start, by the way. But anyway, other than that, they've been around like 10 plus years. They've been around forever. Matter of fact, I think the only one that might be even longer than this is Swagbucks. And the longevity can't beat that. It helped being through its earlier inferior years as a search engine, but honestly, with their AI chat, I think they're actually on par now with Google, if not a little bit better. And that's just my commentary on the thing. The next one is Upside. Now, Upside gives you gas stations and restaurants to go to to get rebates back, and those rebates are pretty frequently sky high, especially for the gas. I remember getting gas at a Circle K in Cornelius a couple years ago, and they gave me like 60 cents off a gallon. Almost $6 off my gas. Plus, there was a bonus event where I got like a $2 bonus for one trip. So if you combine with that, and I have 10 gallons in my tank, that's 80 cents a gallon off. And the price of gas was like a little over two sixty dollars a gallon at the time. So yeah, with that rebate, I filled up my tank for under $20. These guys are pretty good. Now, I will do a reinvestigation here and there just to make sure that they are on the up and up, but the only reason that I really don't use them isn't because they're bad. They're actually really good, but I have a Sam's Club membership, and while the rebates are not as good on gas, they do have other things like discounted groceries that we take advantage of instead, and we just don't eat out enough to make upside worth it for us on the restaurant end, especially since they got rid of the Hungry Howie's pizza deals for Friday night pizza night, which really sucked. Anyway, finally, Cointiply, the most recent member of the green tier club. Now this one I originally had as yellow. I promoted it to green, mainly due to longevity, especially for a crypto earning app. But yes, it being crypto is something that gives me a little bit of doubt just because of their reputation in general. The other issue too is that they have PTC ads and they also have a pretty bad reputation. If some of you remember those in the mid 2010s. They have high paying offer walls and games as well as a faucet for their currency that you can play once an hour. I currently only make about $5 a month on it, but that's because I already have bridge for a lot of the stuff that I'm working on with surveys and games if I wanna make a little bit extra as well as MTurk. And basically I only use it for the PTC ads and once in a while a good paying survey. I will do a review on this sometime in early 2024 the only doubt for me is that they pay out in crypto, but for a crypto project, again, pretty good stability, pretty good longevity, over two years old, and they're still paying out. Hopefully, they don't make me regret upgrading them to green tier anytime soon. So, fingers crossed on that one. Now, the new investigations. I have investigated five new apps this time. Uh, I'm only going to go over four of them because Crypto Scoop, I actually have a review in brainstorming session right now. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, yeah, so we're going to leave that one alone for right now. That one will be a lot of fun. And I'll go over these really quickly if you want a little bit more detail. I'll have a review for most of these eventually on this channel or go to Beer Money Reports in the Discord server, link on the description below. So we're going to start with Prolific. Um, in my opinion, this is just basically a British version of MTurk, except they actually pay a lot more. They're a research company. And they do a lot of studies in general, and it's a little lower on this list because it does have a considerably long waiting list. But, you know, can't really ignore their longevity and how well that they pay and that they're very solid just overall. They're solid reputation. I've seen payments on the Discord server of as high as 50 British pounds a week, which translates to a little over 60 bucks a week. So it pays well, hard to get in though and add to your stack, but hey, you know, they got to be up here. And honestly, they'd be a little bit higher if, you know, they didn't have such a waiting list. Also, I didn't see too much on the corporate backing category, just saying. So down here in the yellow is Dosh. Now Dosh is just upside, but what puts it below upside is we're replacing gas with hotels with this app. So it's less necessary things that they reward you for. They reward you decently well for them, that is true. But if you're trying to make a few extra bucks to get by, you're probably not wanting to spend $500 to fly to Milwaukee just to get $20 cash back, you know, it's just not very practical. However, you do want cash back on hotels and restaurants, you wanna go on vacation, DOSH is actually pretty good, I'll be honest with you. 
Google Opinion Rewards. Now, these guys pay really well on receipts, about 12 cents per, uh, even 3 cents if you don't have a receipt. And surveys, they pay about 12 to 50 cents per. But two problems. The frequency at which the surveys come out isn't that amazing. Plus, you can only cash out in Google Play gift cards, which is why they're yellow tier. You can use the Google Play credit, though, to pay for Atlas Earth and Bridge Money stuff to convert into cash if you want. But that's just... I don't know, that's just extra steps to me. And honestly, if this were a green tier app, they'd be paying out directly through PayPal or better yet to the bank account. So yeah, I'm keeping this one at yellow because of that reason. And finally, way down here is Profit Pie. And I put this one out in a PSA video and what the annual ROI is for this app or what they claim the annual ROI is because your return on investment is actually probably gonna be zero. It is a mess waiting to happen, and I fully expect it will be removed from this list sometime in the next few months. But go check out that PSA video, though, for more information, because this is the end of the video. And that video will be right here. And that's the very first issue of Beer Money Reports in video form. Uh, stay tuned for the next one sometime in mid to late October, where I'll go over the yellow tier and, of course, any new apps that are on the... And here, like one Q, I'm planning on, and I'm also looking into investigating coin out. I know I said uh, fetch is under investigation, but actually this one's going to go into the backlog for right now. So under investigation for coin out, and under investigation for one Q, and you'll be seeing those two in the next issue. So with that, I will see you all next time.